you ready? I'm ready. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I apologize for this week's video being a little late. I've been under the weather and uh, haven't been out of bed essentially for the last couple of days or off the couch. But as you will notice, my beautiful wife Callie is here for the shout out this week, uh, late as it may be. She's going to help us with with uh, this week's video and hopefully we can make this a regular thing. You guys probably recognize her from the uh, Seattle video that we just put up last week. And uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a card up here and you can check that out. Uh, we did a cool video of our Seattle convention experience. Excuse me, okay? So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to get right into this week's shout out. And we're going to do a follow up shout out with a gentleman named Kenneth Brandt. We did, oh, sorry, I screwed up there. In keeping with making, Oops. in keeping with making no cuts, we're just gonna keep rolling. Callie is going to introduce the first uh, sh follow up shout out of the week. So, Callie. First up, we have Kenneth Brandt. So, uh, Kenneth is, uh, um, you know, we talk all the time about everybody uh, being at different levels of their art journey, and to me, Kenneth is one of those guys, I think I said it before, but he's at like the highest level in my opinion. He's he's operating at a, basically a master's level with his work and the quality of his work. It's my opinion, but uh, he does beautiful oil work and it's very rich and smooth and he uses all of the qualities uh, on all the strengths that come with oil in terms of uh, the texture and the richness and the smoothness and he really knows how to use the medium well. He did uh, a couple of great pieces that we put in the uh, last sh shout out video that we had him in if you haven't seen those and uh, we're going to put up a couple of new ones that you probably haven't seen this week and uh, one of my favorite pieces that he did recently was a skull with it's like a classic skull with like beautiful tapestry sitting on a table and then it's got like Twinkie in his mouth and a bunch of Twinkies around him. That one's really uh, cool. I like that one too. Yeah, we got a kick out of that. So. <laughs> cool little story here about Kenneth and I. Kenneth contacted me uh, a few days ago and we're going to do a big Michael Myers commission for him which I'm super excited about. Uh, it's going to be right up my alley as you guys all know if you've seen my work which I assume you have by now. Uh, I am a horror freak and I love everything horror related so Michael Myers is one of those iconic characters and uh, Kenneth basically gave me a good budget to work with and didn't put any restrictions on what I can do. So we're going to do a big piece. It's going to be really detailed. I'm going to film the whole thing, make a video out of it, put it on the channel, and uh, then we'll have Kenneth. I think it'd be cool if he did like an unboxing of the piece when it comes to his house. And then you guys can actually see what a commission from me work uh, looks like and how that works. So excited about that. I actually talked to him on the phone for a while the other day. And it's uh, neat to get to know some of you. I'm getting to know some of you on a more personal level, whether it be through email, uh, some of you are texting me or talking to you on the phone. So the next level would be if I could start meeting some of you at conventions and actually uh, talking to you in person. I think that'd be wonderful. Anyway, go check out Kenneth. He's very talented, very high level, and he's got some good information on his channel. Uh, one in particular video that he has is uh, on how to build a professional portfolio, which I would take his advice on that because he obviously knows what he's doing. So go check out Kenneth Brandt. And then moving on, we're going to get into the regular shout outs. Who is our first regular shout out of the week, dear? Our first regular shout out is Rob Fuller. Now, Mr. Fuller uh, contacted me a while ago and uh, I'm getting him up here a little later than I'd like. But again, we always uh, get you up if I say I'm going to get you up. Rob is from the UK and uh, keeping in the tradition of trying to uh, be eclectic with the artists that we have on the channel. Uh, Rob is a guy that does something that I don't think we've had anybody uh, up that does this before. And this is, he works with fluid art and he does uh, a lot of different forms of fluid art. And um, I've seen a lot of these on different people's channels where they do the pours. And they're always really neat to me because uh, no matter how many of them I see, they're always different. I've never seen two that are exactly the same or exactly alike. Uh, what they say about snowflakes, you know? <laughs> right. You never see two identical snowflakes. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> um, so, 
Yeah, so that's what Rob does. He does acrylic pours, and uh, apparently he's, you know, it's not a, a big thing in the art community for guys to be doing this, especially men. Uh, so he's representing the acrylic pour community in the uh, UK. Uh, one piece he does that I absolutely love, as you guys will know from... I'm sure you've seen this in all the videos. We're, we're Star Wars freaks. She bought me the entire Blu-ray box set a couple years ago for Christmas because uh, she's just that fucking awesome. Oh, you. And uh, Rob has a beautiful Stormtrooper pour that we have in the thumbnail, and uh, I'm absolutely in love with that. It's incredible. Yes. Uh, so he goes uh, pretty in-depth into when he communicated with me, went pretty in-depth into the te different te techniques that he uses. He does... Uh, Let's see, he uses uh, acrylics, sprays, acrylic fluids, and, uh, you know, the process is really interesting. It's something that I'm not familiar with in terms of my own work, so it was new to me uh, in terms of the technique behind it. So uh, I would go check him out and uh, check his channel out. There's a lot of really cool uh, content on there, and the process I think you guys will find as fascinating as I do. So what was his name again, dear? Rob Fuller. All right, go check out Rob. <laughs> so uh, next, I have a very special uh, connection to this person. I've never met her other than talking with her online, but her artwork really hits me, you know. Uh, I find some of you guys, um, I have an instant connection to certain pieces, and uh, uh, well, let's announce who she is first. Dude, who is this? <laughs> next up is Diane. Diane Bowell. I hope I said that correctly. It's not a proper shout out until I screw up at least one person's <laughs> name. Um, so Diane does very powerful portraiture work and um, she does a series called, uh, I think it's called Sirens of My Relief and I noticed that she did a Kickstarter on it a while back that uh, looked like it unfortunately didn't uh, reach its goals. So if uh, Diane, if you do want to start a new Kickstarter, I would be happy to personally contribute and uh, put up a link to your Kickstarter on this video, add it in later if you want to start a new one and then we can, hopefully I'll go support you and you can be successful because uh, Diane's work is really powerful. Um, her, her thumbnail, her pieces are really prominent in this week's thumbnail and I did that for a reason uh, because her work, I had a real connection to it when I saw it. Something about, um, you know, I, I like dark work, as you guys know. My work is dark in a pretty overt way in terms of, you know, gore and extreme and all that kind of stuff. But her work to me is dark in a different way. It's um, it's almost sad, kind of, but uh, in a powerful way. And her pieces represent those emotions really strongly. The color she uses, and she does glazing, which is um, a classic art technique. You'll learn it in art school if you've ever been to traditional art school. But I don't see a lot of people using it anymore. Uh, and it's a very effective technique. It gives uh, it gives your pieces a really distinctive look. And she uses glazing very effectively in her work. Um, just I, I keep coming back to the word powerful. Her work really hits me. So uh, go check out Diane and please support her. And Diane, if you want to get a Kickstarter going, contact me and we'll help you do that, okay? Uh, that's Diane Bowell. Okay, who's next here? Next is Kayla Medina. Okay, so Kayla, um, another uh, lady that I wanted to have up a couple weeks ago, but we've got her up this week. And uh, her work is, she does a lot of different kinds of work. Um, I like to call it eclectic in the subject matter. She does some cool, uh, sp she's got a spider piece, a couple animal pieces. Um, and some really neat illustrations and um, what hit me about her work when I looked at it was it reminded me um, I grew up in an age you know I'm old now unlike her she's <laughs> she's young I don't know why she wants to be with an old geezer like me but um, I grew up in an age when we didn't have cell phones and tablets and I'm so thankful for that um, this is me going on one of my little tangents I'll get to the point here in a second I promise uh, <laughs> I grew up reading a lot of books. My mom uh, always pushed on us, my sister and I, the importance of reading, and we always read a ton. And you know, since we were very small kids, I read a lot of books and a lot of uh, children's books. And I was always, in, you know, in love with the illustrations in those books. And maybe that was part of why I ended up becoming an artist. But 
Kayla's work reminds me of a lot of the illustrations that I saw in books that I read when I was a younger child. And, uh, you know, those whimsical kind of illustrations that are uh, almost fantastical and, you know, you, they take your imagination away. That's one thing that I feel like with the tablets and the phones, kids are losing these days the ability to even want to, or if they wanted to, um, you know, to be able to daydream and kind of go off in your head. And, you know, when you've always got a, a phone in front of your face, it's hard to use your imagination. Anyway, that's where Kayla's work took me back to when I was a kid reading those books. And I think that her illustrations would go perfect in those kind of books. Uh, so if I would recommend Kayla uh, to pursue that uh, in your career, just my personal opinion. Um, and then the other thing, the first piece I saw of hers is a piece called Sisters in Arms, which is in the thumbnail as well. Um, and that piece stuck out to me. It's a colored pencil piece, and what I, there's a couple things I liked about it. First of all, it's done really well. But as you guys know, if you've ever read uh, comments that I've left on your channel, or if you've heard me talk in my other videos, there are a few things that I notice in pieces, and uh, one of them is composition, and uh, another one is perspective. Those are always things that will make a piece stand out to me. And this Sisters and Arms piece is a really good example of that because she's got um, three women and the perspective is from behind them. You don't see any of their faces, but they all have like interlocking arms and you feel the connection and the emotion in the piece without actually seeing their faces. And I think that's a really cool, unique way to approach a piece. So kudos to uh, Kayla for doing something unique. Um, check her out, support her, and there we go. Uh, so after Kayla, who's next? Next is Tribal Artist. Tribal Artist. Um, this guy's really cool. Uh, he does, no, I don't want to speak out of turn, but to me it looks like traditional uh, Native American stuff. I have uh, a lot of Native American in me, actually, believe it or not. Um, usually when my hair gets long, I get a lot of comments. People tell me I look they can see it in me anyway um he does a lot of work um a lot of cool designs a lot of pattern work but uh, uh, to me it looks like a lot of it relates back to heritage kind of stuff and uh that's another thing that I feel like art is important on so many different levels and powerful on so many different levels and um he uses his in a way that uh, to me it like honors tra tradition and tradition is something that's always been intertwined with art and I feel like art is a great way to perpetuate tradition and um, you know it's a way to keep records historically it's been done over the years before we had videos and all that kind of stuff you know way back to Neanderthal days when people were writing on cave walls so art uh, used in that way is also very powerful and uh, I see a lot of that in his works there's some really cool it's like a deer piece and then and some of his pieces, pencil work, good pencil work, black and gray, and then some of it is a lot of design work, like pen, pen and ink work. And uh, it's very interesting work, and I respect what he's doing with it. And uh, as always, um, I admire good pen work and good pen control and uh, good tight, uh, detailed line work. And he's got that in his in his work. So go check out what's his name. His name is Tribal Artist. Putting her on the spot there. Okay, go check out uh, Tribal Artist. He's got some really cool stuff, and I like uh, I like his approach to art and what he's doing with it. Okay, and then very last, but most certainly not least, is Skylar Lawrence. Okay, Skylar. Um, first of all, I like her work a lot. I um, one of the other things when we're talking about Kayla is I, I, I talk about a few things that I notice in work, you know, composition, perspective. Uh, I notice highlights, people that use highlights well. And uh, maybe the number one thing that I notice is uh, texture. I use that word a lot. If I've ever left a comment on your video, I probably have mentioned that word. Uh, because texture to me is crucial to a great piece and Skylar uses texture in her work really effectively. And what I mean when I say texture, is um, like you know something that has grit to it. We were watching last night. Uh, what's that show called? Extraordinary Homes or yes, something. Yes, it's so good. Yeah, that's a good show if you it's haven't great. seen it. Uh, they don't pay me, but yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, on Netflix. You guys might have heard of Netflix. <laughs> it's a thing the kids do now. Um, 
anyway, there was an architect on the show, and he was, I mean, he just, his eyes lit up when he saw there was this house in the desert, and part of the wall was actually built out of, like, the clay from the desert or something, and he was just running his hand over. You remember that? Uh, that was really well done and beautiful. And he was talking about, you know, the texture of the wall and, and uh, you know, the grit of it and stuff. And that's what I, when I see, like, Skylar's work, that's what I mean um, by texture in a piece, when it's... More than just like a flat, you know, canvas or surface with color on it. To me, texture, like when you build the paint up, like Skylar does, you can actually see, like if you were to turn the piece on its side, you could see the, the paint sitting higher. And to me, that gives pieces depth and dimension, and it makes them feel more alive when I see that kind of texture. Denise from the Painted Palette Life that we had on last week, uh, she uses the palette knife. She gets incredible texture in her work, like some of the best I've ever seen. She is so talented. It, with the texture, it makes your eyes kind of flow and move with the piece, and that's right. really powerful as well. Plus, she's got awesome hair. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's why that's the thing that sticks out to me about Skylar's work. She has great uh, texture in her piece. Another thing that I want to talk about, and uh, Skylar brought this up to me, so I feel like um, I, you know, I always, like I said in the last video, uh, get a lot of personal correspondence and uh, you, that you guys feel uh, comfortable enough to open up to me about the personal things that are going on in your life it means a lot to me and that's a valuable thing. I don't take it lightly so I never want to breach that bond of trust. But when I get the okay from you guys, I think it's important to expand to talking more about other things, not just art, but since we have this community and we have our forum and everything, it's an important uh, opportunity that if I get the opportunity, I want to take it to talk about other things. And Skylar has a disorder that she's been struggling with for a while, um, and I guess it's a schizoaffective disorder. And uh, I did some research on it, and the side effects are pretty extreme, and they sound pretty terrible. So she uses her art as a way to deal with what she goes through. And I think that's, an, again, another wonderful thing about art. A beautiful thing about art is that it can also be therapy and a way to cope. And that's how she uses her art. And I don't want to get too deep into it, but um, that's something that she's dealing with. And I would encourage uh, Skylar, if you're watching this, I assume you are, uh, go on the Reddit forum if you feel comfortable, if you haven't registered yet, and make a post about it and get a dialogue going You'll probably get a lot of support there, and I have a feeling that um, a lot of you are suffering, and I, I know you are, from different things. Artists tend to be people that have extreme emotions. You know, that's where the creativity, in my opinion, comes from. You don't get extreme talent and extreme expression if it doesn't come from somewhere. So uh, I, I struggle with my own stuff, you know, uh, I have for years. So. Uh, I appreciate Skylar having the courage to uh, let me say that, and uh, I have respect for you for what you're doing with your art and how you're dealing with your issues. So if anybody out there is uh, going through something, feel free to get on the forum, and uh, you'll get a lot of support there, or uh, message me or somebody else, and uh, be happy to uh, talk with you about what you're going through. So that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, another fantastic week of talented artists and uh, next week uh, hopefully I'll feel better and be able to get my ass off the couch and I uh, won't be late on uh, next week's shout out a lot of cool stuff going on um, I'll have that commission Kenneth's commission I've got a uh, full time last lapse pencil piece that I am just wrapping the video up for cool portrait that I did or at least I think it's cool um, you might think it sucks. You never know. It's cool. <laughs> uh, and just a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, uh, If you haven't seen the Seattle video, go check out the Seattle video. Go support all the artists. If they have prints, buy the prints if you like them. Contact them about commissions if you're interested in a commission from me. Uh, I work with any budget. Uh, just let me know what your budget is and I'll, I'll, uh, we'll figure something out that fits it. And if uh, I'm lucky enough to get to a thousand subs, which we're getting pretty, pretty close to, I have some pretty epic ideas for a giveaway on that in a thousand sub video. So everybody, um, feel free to tell my wife how awesome she is, how beautiful she is, 
and how amazing she is for putting up with me. And um, that's all I got for you this week. Uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Thank you for your support as always.